channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here I did use the whole Kathleen lights um, where the night is collection so the packaging just looks like this I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen it Instagram snapchat literally everywhere um, and then it brings four eyeshadows which you guys I'm so obsessed with these I love every single shade they're so buttery so soft so creamy so easy to blend um, they go on really nicely with your finger with a brush whatever it is oh my god I just love them so much picked up the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils but I didn't use those in this tutorial which I kind of regret um, I really wanted to use Aquarius, but I ended up going with something else. I was super excited once I got it in the mail, and I knew I had to film a look or, like, at least a swatch video. I don't know, something. I had to do something with this collection, so I decided to film a look just because I feel like I've been so absent on YouTube for no reason. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and keep on watching. First things first, I'm starting off with the Makeup Forever Step one skin equalizer and this is the smoothing primer. I love this one. It is the only one that I really use. Um, I haven't tried the other equalizers just because, I don't know, they don't really call my attention. I know that everyone loves like the hydrating one and the nourishing but to be honest I don't feel like my skin is super dry as of right now and it's never been like, I don't know, like extremely dry where I feel like I need a nourishing or hydrating primer. So I absolutely love this one. It's everything, I swear. It makes my skin so smooth and it makes my foundation go on so much smoother. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you do because it's bomb. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorites. You guys know I just can't stop using this combo. I haven't found anything else that makes my skin look as good as these two combined. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. If you guys are curious, I use 6.5 in Luminous Silk and 128 or Y415 in the Makeup Forever. Just for reference in case you need to know. So I'm just mixing that on the back of my hand and blending it out with a beauty blender. For some reason, I've been liking the black one just a whole lot better for no particular reason. It just never looks as dirty as the pink one. Um, I'm kind of debating like never buying a pink one again just because the black is just so bomb. It works the same though. There's no difference between how they work um, or how, how they apply foundation. I just feel like the black one looks a lot cleaner. This is not a good idea. I'm wearing white and I have foundation on the back of my hand. I don't know. And tell me how you guys like the quality of this video. I'm actually using my Sony A5100 to film this instead of using my Canon T5i. I hope you guys can tell how flawless my skin looks like with the mixing the two foundations I find like oh my god my skin looks so freaking good and well, what is this piece of skin so I really love this combo if you haven't tried it I know that both of the foundations are really expensive um, I don't prefer one over the other one just because I feel like they both work great like whether they're alone or mixed together so I don't know just Try however you like. So to correct my under eye, because you see these bags, girl, they're just completely crazy. I'm using my trusty Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. And I'm almost done with this, which is really bothering me. And it's breaking my heart because I swear I love this product. Um, nothing hides my under eyes as well as this. And I just, oh my god, I'm so obsessed. If you have really dark, bad, puffy colored under eye circles i really really recommend i really recommend this product um i hear that the next one is pretty good i haven't tried that one but i will try it after this just to see how it compares and it is a whole lot cheaper so maybe so i just like to tap this product in in my under eye and after that i'm gonna go in with my concealer concealer I'm gonna be using my Maybelline fit me concealer this is in number 20 I was using the urban decay naked skin one and I got the shade light neutral and I really love the formula of this um, I think I used it in my last tutorial that I did and I really love it 
I just don't like the shade selection. I feel like none of the concealers are as yellow as I want it to be. Like this one, it's a really nice consistency, a really nice formula. I love the way it sits on the face. But I don't know, like I, I just think it's way too light. And even the warm ones, they're still not as yellow as I'd like them to be. I just feel like these are really nice, like super highlighting shades and not so much just like a regular concealer I guess so yeah I'm gonna be going in with my Maybelline fit me just because I feel like it has the right amount of yellow in it and it's light enough where I can kind of like highlight the face a little bit but nothing too crazy and this is like the fourth tube that I go through and I'm literally like <laughs> almost done I know that a lot of people here on YouTube like to Highlight like crazy like on their forehead, their nose, their chin, their cupid's bow. I'm not like that girl. So I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. And I'm not going to take it so far out like outwards this way. Um, just because I like it to be more centered. To set my under eye I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. This is in the shade Banana. I love this. I have a very strong hate relationship with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, for a while, alright, so I'm going to try to talk and do this at the same time. For a while, that's like the only powder I've been, like, or I was using. And you guys know that if you watch my tutorials or like if you've been watching me for a while. Um, and now I just feel like it's so overrated. To the, I just feel like it doesn't, I don't like the way it sits on my face. I feel like throughout the day it starts to look a lot more cakey. Um, and it could have to do with the amount of powder applied, like when I bake, it just, I don't know. And it dries out my under eyes so badly. So I stopped using that and I've been using the Ben Nye for, I want to say, around like two or three months. And I've noticed a huge difference. I feel like my under eye doesn't cake up as easily or it doesn't crease as easily. And I don't know, it just looks a lot more flawless and definitely not as stark I'm kind of more on the tanner side so I would use the Laura Mercier like you can tell a direct difference from like my actual skin to my under eye and it was like just a little bit too white and I just feel like the yellow one makes me look more what's the word I'm looking for I don't even know but it just I like it a whole lot better that that's kind of like the gist of what I'm saying right now my face I'm gonna be using my favorite face powder or favorite setting powder it's not really a setting powder it's a powder foundation but I love this because it's pretty light but it gives like a flawless finish this is the Giorgio Armani powder Found powder foundation in 6.5 I'm using a makeup geek face buffer brush I love this powder if I haven't raved about it enough raved about it enough Jesus Christ I cannot talk today um, and I'm just going to set my entire face with this. Um, this powder is, like, the amount of flawless this powder is, I can't even. I literally just can't even. I just feel like the camera is kind of blurring me out a little bit too much. I don't know. You guys have to let me know how you like it. Um... For some reason, I feel like a lot of people have been starting to film with their Sony camera. Um, and I really like it. I just feel like sometimes at certain angles, at certain points, it just looks a little bit too blurred out for me. Um, and it doesn't look realistic. Like, my skin is not completely blurred. It does not have a filter on it 24-7. Um, I do have texture and, I don't know, I just feel like the camera doesn't emphasize that. I'm not sure what I like better. I'm going to start doing my eyebrows and for that I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I really want to try the brow definer one because everyone has been raving about it saying like the shape of it is just perfect. Um, I use mine in medium brown and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I really need to go do them because they are horrendous right now. I'm just going to start off by outlining the shape and then from there filling it in. And let me know if you guys would want to see a brow tutorial, like just me, my everyday brow routine. A brow routine is what I was trying to say. Just because I feel like in my videos, I don't want to spend too much time 
talking about how I fill in my eyebrows because it's literally the same thing all the time. I'm going to start with my eyes and I'm starting off with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This name is so ridiculously long. And this is just like a matte primer. Um, I always use this on my eyes. There's not a day where if I'm putting on eyeshadow, I don't apply this just because it keeps my eyes matte throughout the day and I have extremely oily eyelids. So it helps with the creasing also. I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Paint Daily Paint Pot. Uh, to prime my lids so I'm just gonna apply this over top of the matte base and this is just gonna give me like a smooth blanked out canvas so the first I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette so if you have this palette you can pull it out if you want if you don't they sell them in single shadows I'll let you guys know the names of which shades I'm using and you know or you can use whatever shades you have whatever similar um, so the first two shades I'm gonna be mixing and putting into my crease are caramel and Morocco they're super warm shades um, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this look I don't know what I want to do but let's just let's just go with it I'm gonna pop this into my crease and I'm using a crown C441 pro blending crease brush um, I really like this brush it's a little bit stiff but I don't mind it. Ma! Why is it that when I film, you guys want to make the most noise? Switch to a Sigma E25 brush just because it applies so much smoother. I'm blending that in my crease. And then I'm going to use the Rosita Apple Bomb brush and I'm going into the shade Deep Plum and I'm going to apply this kind of like in a halo effect kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to apply it in the inner corner and then in the outer corner. Um, I've been loving how this looks. Um, I feel like halo eyeshadow kind of complements my eyes a lot more. So, I'm gonna do that. So then I'm just going to blend this out so there's no harsh lines between the purple and my crease. And the quad I'm most excited about is the Kathleen Where the Night Is quad. When I got this, I was so excited to use like every single shade. I was like, shit, how do I plan out a tutorial look where I get to use all four shades? But I don't think it's possible. Or well, at least for me, not my taste in what I like in eyeshadows. So I didn't do that. And I'm going to be using, let's see. I'm going to be using two of the shades. Um, and they're both like... They're all beautiful shades, like, they're all so gorgeous. And the pigmentation on these for 20 bucks, oh my god, crazy. Well, 20 bucks for all four shadows, um, I, I'm just obsessed. Okay, so the first shadow I'm going to be taking is this one right here in the shade Weenie. It's kind of like a rose gold shade, and I'm going to pop this in the inner, or not the inner, the empty spots that I have on my lids. The best way to apply this is using your fingers, but I'm going to try using a synthetic brush. And oh my god, I just dug my brush so deep into the shadow. I don't even feel like I need a primer base or the glitter base, so I'm just going to... I'm like really obsessing over this shadow right now. It's so pretty. 
All right, I'm going to apply the rest with my finger just so it pops just a little bit more um, while the shade is like bomb.com. I don't even swatches on my hand. Like, how crazy is that? Oh my god, I can't even. Alright, now I'm going to take the shade Porter and I'm going to add this over top of the purple that I have in my outer corner and in my inner corner just because I kind of like this purple a little bit more than the one that I applied originally with this brush right here. And I hope I don't mess it up. Yes! Oh my god, I love it. I think it looks better than Deep Plum. And Deep Plum is like my one of my ride or die one or done. Ride or die purple shades. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm officially obsessed with this quad give everything a final blend with the Sigma E25 and just blend literally everything up. All right. For a brow bone shade, I don't really know what I want to use. I think I'm just going to use vanilla from Anastasia and just like use the same brush, pop it on my brow bone. I don't really feel like I need one to go in my inner corner, um, so I'm just going to leave that blank, I think. Or maybe I will just pop it in there. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera, and these are the uh, Violet Voss Vamtress lashes. They're like shifting everywhere, but these are gorgeous. I've been obsessed with them lately. They kind of remind me of the Iconics and the Coco Goddess ones. So I'm just gonna apply it off camera and be right back. Right, so I have my lashes on, and for my lower lash line, I'm gonna be using Caramel Morocco and some Deep Plum. So just mixing those three. I don't want too much darkness on my lower lashes. Um, just because I want this to be more of like a wide open look. So I'm just going to run this through there. But I'm not adding it too heavy or too heavily down there. I feel like... Oh yeah. I'm going to take some of this shade right here. This is called Telepathy. I'm going to take this with a synthetic brush and I'm actually going to add this in my inner corner just for like a little bit of a pop. Um, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, absolutely yes. You know what? I don't think I'll ever need any other eyeshadows but these right here. I just feel like they're so beautiful and like you can make so many looks out of this. And, like, this gold is killing me right now. I love it. Some lower lash mascara. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula with the Vasanti uh, blush brush, I think. I'm just going to bronze up my face, not really contour it. Um, so, like, here, here. Sorry, I'm, like, looking into my viewfinder. And here. I'm going to be using the Studio Makeup Wildflower Blush with this Sonia Kashuk brush. I love this brush and I love this blush. Um, I feel like it's just the perfect combo. I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. There. And here. I'm going to be using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop um, Highlight. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia A23 Highlight Brush. This brush is magical. I'm just going to pop this to the tops of my cheeks. And really blending that out. For my lips, I'm going to be using a dose of color stone. 
I haven't used this in a while and oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. So this pretty much is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. And don't forget to tell me how you like the camera or how you like the way my face looks. Is it a little bit too blurred out? Does it look like not realistic at all? Um, I really want to hear your guys' feedback just because it is my content. And I don't want to look like too fake, too plastic, or like too... I don't know, I guess not real. Um, so yeah, let me know your feedback and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.